James Mulvey was a notorious figure in the world of organized crime. His life of criminality and efforts to evade the law came to the forefront of public attention following a series of investigations that exposed his role in international drug trafficking operations. Welcome back to Crime Chronicles. Stay tuned as we examine Mulvey's journey from being a small-time Midlands crook to an international cocaine kingpin. His story is a tale of ambition, cunning, and a relentless pursuit of wealth at all costs. James Mulvey was born into a working-class family in Solihull, a region that straddles the line between middle-class suburban respectability and some of the more deprived areas of the Midlands. His early years were relatively unremarkable, and not much is known about his childhood or adolescence. However, as is the case with many crime figures, it is believed that his environment influenced his later decisions to turn to criminal activities as a path to wealth and power. Mulvey's entry into the world of crime began with minor offences. Like many in his position, he quickly recognised the lucrative nature of drug dealing, particularly in an area like Solihull, where there was a growing market for illegal substances like cannabis and cocaine. As he honed his skills and connections, he graduated from street-level drug dealing to more sophisticated criminal enterprises. Mulvey's ascension to the top of the criminal underworld can largely be attributed to his ability to form strategic alliances and his willingness to take risks. In the 1990s and early 2000s, the UK was grappling with an influx of drugs, particularly cocaine, much of which came from South America through European ports. The market for cocaine was expanding rapidly, especially in affluent parts of the country, and this gave Mulvey the perfect opportunity to capitalize on the demand. Using his connections with other criminals, Mulvey began importing large quantities of cocaine from South America and distributing it across the UK and Europe. He was highly secretive and cautious in his operations, understanding that discretion was key to avoiding law enforcement detection. His business acumen and ruthless approach to competition allowed him to grow his empire, amassing significant wealth in the process. At the height of his power, Mulvey controlled a substantial portion of the cocaine trade in the Midlands and had significant influence over drug distribution in other parts of Europe. His wealth allowed him to live a life of luxury, with lavish homes, expensive cars, and frequent travels. Yet, while his lifestyle may have appeared glamorous, it was underpinned by extreme violence, intimidation, and exploitation. The international drug trade is a complex web of illicit networks that span continents involving everyone from low-level couriers to high-ranking cartel members. James Mulvey was a master at navigating these networks, forging connections with suppliers in South America and distributors across Europe. His operations involved the shipment of massive quantities of cocaine from South America, often concealed in legitimate cargo, such as furniture or building materials, to avoid detection by customs and law enforcement agencies. One of the keys to Mulvey's success was his ability to exploit the weaknesses in international shipping and border control systems. He used a combination of sophisticated logistics and trusted criminal associates to transport drugs across borders undetected. Once the cocaine arrived in Europe, it was distributed through a network of drug dealers who sold it on the streets of cities across the UK and mainland Europe. Mulvey's network was vast and intricate, involving dozens of people who worked to ensure that the drugs moved smoothly from one point to another. He was known to use a method called carousel fraud, where drugs were moved between various locations in Europe to confuse authorities and obscure the true destination of the shipments. His criminal enterprise also made use of offshore accounts and shell companies to launder the enormous profits generated by the cocaine trade. Despite his involvement in these high-level operations, Mulvey was careful to distance himself from the day-to-day -day activities of the drug trade, making it difficult for law enforcement to directly link him to the shipments. This strategy worked for many years, allowing him to evade prosecution and enjoy his wealth with relative impunity. His downfall can be traced to a series of investigations by British and European law enforcement agencies, 
which collaborated to dismantle the international drug trafficking networks that he controlled. The breakthrough in the investigation came in 2007, when a joint operation by UK police and Europol resulted in the interception of several drug shipments connected to Mulvey's organization. These shipments, which contained cocaine worth millions of pounds, were traced back to Mulvey's associates, leading to the arrest of several key figures in his network. While Mulvey himself managed to evade arrest for several years, the authorities were slowly building a case against him. The scale of the drug operation and the complexity of the money laundering schemes meant that it took time to piece together all of the evidence needed to bring charges against him. Mulvey's ability to evade law enforcement was also aided by his use of multiple identities and his frequent travels between countries. In 2017, after years of investigations, law enforcement agencies finally caught up with Mulvey. He was arrested in Lithuania, where he had been living in an attempt to avoid extradition to the UK. His arrest was the culmination of a decade-long effort by over 150 investigators from Spain, Portugal, Brazil, the Republic of Ireland, and Lithuania. James Mulvey's trial was a high-profile affair, drawing significant media attention due to the scale of his criminal enterprise and the vast sums of money involved. The prosecution presented evidence showing that Mulvey had orchestrated one of the largest cocaine trafficking operations in Europe, responsible for smuggling drugs worth hundreds of millions of pounds into the UK and other European countries. During the trial, the court heard how Mulvey had used a network of associates to import and distribute cocaine, and how he had laundered the proceeds through a series of complex financial transactions. The court also heard how he had lived in a 1.4 million pound villa in southern Spain, moved between multiple five-star hotels, and laundered over 7.8 million pounds through the Isle of Man, Monaco, and Mauritius. The prosecution also detailed the violent methods Mulvey employed to maintain control of his empire, including intimidation, threats, and physical assaults on those who crossed him. Despite Mulvey's attempts to portray himself as a legitimate businessman, the weight of the evidence against him was overwhelming. In 2018, he was convicted on multiple counts of drug trafficking and money laundering. He was sentenced to 32 years in prison, marking the end of his reign as one of the UK's most notorious cocaine traffickers. The conviction of James Mulvey was hailed as a major victory for law enforcement agencies, particularly in their efforts to dismantle large-scale drug trafficking networks. His imprisonment marked the end of a criminal empire that had spanned continents and involved the movement of millions of pounds worth of cocaine. Despite his conviction, the impact of Mulvey's criminal activities is still felt today. The cocaine trade that he helped facilitate has continued to thrive, with new players emerging to take his place. Mulvey and his connections were instrumental in creating smuggling routes into Europe that were used by the Kinahan cartel. His case also highlighted the challenges law enforcement faces in tackling international drug trafficking, particularly when it comes to tracking down the financial networks that underpin these operations. Mulvey's rise to power in organized crime was as much about cunning and ruthlessness as it was about opportunity. But in the end, his downfall was inevitable. Thank you for joining us today on Crime Chronicles. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel with your friends.